All right, well, stay at home orders force films already in theaters to end their runs and switch to digital, digital access. We're taking a look at what's new in home theaters in our hot topics. topics. <laughs> All right, well, first up, super excited about this one. No Troll Left Behind I love this weekend. It. Trolls World Tour is the follow-up to the 2016 Smash. The second verse finds the Trolls separated into different musical tribes, but Handbagger hand Queen Barb, Ooh. voiced by Rachel Bloom, wants them all to bow down to the king of rock and roll, of voiced course. by none other than Ozzy, Ozzy Osbourne. Osbourne. Yes. The movie available on digital platforms, so it's ready to go, ready for your family right now. Um, there's even an online premiere party. The Trolls Twitter feed has a link to a party pack with a guide for decorations, a home red carpet, and the official watch party also happening on Twitter. Trolls World Tour rated PG. Super excited about this. Already told the family, yeah. this is the movie that we're watching. We did Onward last weekend. Looking forward to watching Trolls this weekend. Yeah, and I like all the online, like the interactive things you can do. A lot of things happening on Twitter where you can engage with it. So that's cool too. Yes, and I saw a bunch of like Trolls merchandise from like Legos, toothpaste, um, cookies, um, all kinds of things. So they have decked it out for uh, this movie. And it's, they're using it kind of as an experiment, as a springboard to see if maybe movies that are supposed to be released, maybe they can keep their release date if they yeah. just roll it out straight to roll digital. So we'll see how Trolls does. Uh, here's another one. The March sisters invade April in Little Women. Oh, yeah. Greta Gerwig directs this adaptation that garnered six Oscar nominations, including individual nods for Saoirse Ronan and Florence Pugh. They are among a cast that includes previous Oscar winners Chris Cooper, Laura Dern, and um, Meryl Streep. This classic story about young women determined to chart the course of their own lives in the 1800s little women on digital dvd and blu-ray so you can check that one out as well nice also for your viewing pleasure this week and more tiger king what? on the way netflix is bringing back its wildly uh popular docuseries for one more episode this time with a special guest host comedian joel McHale. No. the eighth episode of the show titled i think very appropriately the tiger king and i <laughs> will start streaming on Sunday, so Easter Sunday, the after show style episode will include interviews from a few familiar faces from the docuseries. Now, according to Nielsen, the series garnered 34 million unique views in the first 10 days of its release in the U.S. alone. A lot of people still talking about Tiger King. Yeah. Jason, you and I have yet to watch I it. I haven't seen it yet, but seeing Joel McHale dressed up <laughs> as the Tiger King, I want to tune in. I yeah. Mean, hilarious. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Rejoice sports fans, live games are returning to ESPN. Mm. Well, sort of. Kinda. Let's talk about this. <laughs> the network will air a two-day horse challenge starting Sunday. That's right. The basketball shooting game you used to play with your friends where you try to spell out horse. Only this time, it's going to be played by current and former NBA and WNBA stars. Participants of note include Chris Paul, Trey Young, Tamika Catchings. They're going to play on courts in or near their homes and ESPN is carrying the four-hour event live. Nice. It's going to take four hours to play a horse. <laughs> I'm hoping it's going to be more than just those three participants. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of people involved there. So, yeah, fun. Sports, mm -hmm. sports is back. Check that out this weekend. Yeah, that should be fun. I'm excited to see what that looks like again. A lot of the athletes have been keeping busy on social media they have. doing challenges and doing things like this. So I'd love to see what the video looks like of them playing uh, individual and see maybe who wins. Yeah, I know. And horse is a big uh, game we played all the time in our house. In fact, we changed it to Tiger recently oh, mm. for current events. Appropriately. <laughs> happening. So uh, anyway, I'm excited to see where that <laughs> one goes.